Hi, Texas. Thanks for tuning in here to CBS 19 plus. We have a heat advisory in effect until Wednesday at 9 p.m. for all of our western counties. So Hopkins, Rains, looks like Van Zandt, Henderson, Anderson, Houston, Trinity County. Right now, none of the East Texas counties are included in that heat advisory, but may be added as we go through the rest of Monday and into Tuesday. It does look like we'll get very hot over all of East Texas as the week goes on. We'll just wait and see exactly when those heat advisories will be added. So far in the month of July, we've had some hot temperatures, a little bit above average. Saturday, for instance, on January or July 1st, 95 degrees was running about two degrees above average. The next day, the temperature was 92, and that was actually below average. When I went back and looked at the data, we found that the morning low temperature caused the average daytime high to be slightly below average. Then Monday, we had a high of 96. That was back above average. Tuesday and Wednesday with above average temperatures of 94 it kept us above average 95 last Thursday above average high and 95 also on Friday. Then Saturday we hit our forecast high of 96 and then with more cloud cover on the 9th and of course Monday the 10th we saw highs fall back to average right around 93 degrees by the end of the month. The average high will be up to 96. This is nowhere close to what it was last year at this time through the first 10 days of the month last year we had several 100 degree days. In fact, we had eight of the first 10 or seven of the first 10 where we topped out above 100 degrees. And so as we head through the rest of the month, we do not expect temperatures to look anything like they were last year. But something I think that we're noticing about this summer as opposed to last summer, and this is because of the rainfall that we've had around parts of East Texas, the humidity has just been way higher than it would typically would be. Uh, humid conditions are expected on Wednesday and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, very humid. These will be extremely muggy days, so drinking lots of water before we even go to the pool will be important. There is a little bit of a front coming in Sunday to Monday that may drop at least the humidity a little bit. Let's talk about why. Why are we going to see the heat? Well, it all has to do with this upper level ridge. We saw this a couple of weeks ago. That is air that is just piling up from the surface all the way to about uh, 25 to 30,000 feet. So that air just simply sits over top of us. It sinks and by compressional warming, we get temperatures that are going to be moving into the mid and upper 90s. Something else interesting to note, and it seems to be a different kind of a blocking pattern. We've had a lot of blocking patterns going back to May, but this low pressure system just doesn't seem to move. And so the high stretches out and expands. And that's one of the reasons that we'll see the heat gradually increase this week so that we'll start off with highs in the lower 90s and then make it into the mid 90s and upper 90s by the end of the week. However, it looks like we stall there at about 98 or 99 degrees. If we could get the center of this ridge over top of us, we'd most likely have some 100 degree days. I think we will fall just shy of that. And some of that again, due to the rainfall we had back in April, back in May, and there were spots in June in East Texas that had a lot of rain while some of us missed out. So because of that, we're going to have sort of, I could say unequal heating and it could prevent us from getting up to about 100 degrees or better for the days coming up here, but very humid. In fact, when we take a look at the 10 day temperature trend, uh, Tuesday may be the coolest day of the next 10 clouds. Some morning showers and thunderstorms will keep temperatures in the lower 90s. So we do have showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for Tuesday, Wednesday with sunshine up to 97 and then it's blazing sun Thursday, Friday into Saturday, Sunday and Monday upper 90s and upper 90s Tuesday, Wednesday, finally by the 20th of July. And when we look at our long range cycling repeating pattern theory, it suggests that there will be a rather large area of high pressure that develops over the eastern part of the United States, slowly expanding to the west. And so the last 10 days of July should feature uh, some of the hottest weather that we've seen in quite some time. All right, too hot to trot. Let's talk about pause the pavement. I'll bring this up every day just because our Furry friends need need your help when it is this hot outside. There's no need to take them on a walk on the concrete or the asphalt as those temperatures can run uh, about 60 degrees warmer than the uh, air temperature. If the air temperature is 95, for instance, the asphalt absorbing all that sunshine all day long 
it can reach a temperature of 155 degrees. Even when it's 90, the concrete and the asphalt are quite a bit hotter. Rainfall reports, let's talk about it since June 1st. So meteorological summer started on June 1st. Since that time, Tyler, an inch and a half of rainfall. Longview, four and a half inches of rainfall. This is what I'm talking about, these disparities that we've had since June where it's rained heavily in one spot and it has missed in other spots. So Tyler, just one and a half inches of rainfall, leaving the average running almost four inches below. And in Longview, about a half inch below since that time. And Lufkin, about two, almost three inches below average for the year, however, piling up rain in May and April, Lufkin and Longview are still above average. All right, here we go with future skycast. Some showers, thunderstorms overnight tonight into the first half of Tuesday. So we'll have off and on showers and thunderstorms Tuesday with highs in the lower 90s. We clear out Tuesday night. Wednesday, this is interesting, our in-house computer model tries to bring in a little scattered shower activity Wednesday afternoon. We'll see if that materializes. The other data is not being so hopeful uh, and then the ridge of high pressure starts to expand. So did you notice that one thunderstorm cluster was a little farther to the north and east and missed most, if not all of East Texas. So a 40% chance of rain on Tuesday will reevaluate for Wednesday. If some of the other data comes more in line with our in-house computer data, perhaps we'll add that. Otherwise, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday look dry right now. All right, let's talk about the rainfall. I'll look for the next seven days. And again, feast or famine. This is what we see in the summertime. Heavy downpours, thunderstorms, producing a lot of rain in one area, for instance, in western Cherokee County. Could happen, doesn't mean that this is in eastern Cherokee County or southern Cherokee County, or even in the Smith County. But the example here, bright blue, one and a quarter inches of rainfall. Surrounding that, maybe a quarter to a tenth inch of a tenth of an inch of rain over the next seven days. So it's going to be frustrating, I think, for some of us. All right, forecast for tonight, scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially in our northern counties where we've seen this happen again and again. 75 in Mount Pleasant and Pittsburgh. In our central counties, a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms from Mineola to Tyler, Longview over toward Carthage. But Jacksonville and Palestine may miss out on the rain. And over deep east Texas, partly cloudy skies, warm and humid, 77 in Lufkin, 79 at Crockett. Wind and wind gusts. This is not going to be for Friday. This would be for Tuesday. So we tried to update that graphic. But for Tuesday, your high temperature is going to be 87 in Pittsburgh with scattered showers and thunderstorms again. First half of the day in our middle counties, Cherokee County, maybe an isolated thunderstorm, 92 degrees. Henderson up to 92 and then over deep east Texas, high temperatures will be in the mid 90s. Lufkin, for instance, making it up to 96. Here's your bill. Scott White, Texas by Joint Hospital 10 day forecast. So after Tuesday and scattered thunderstorms, it dries out and heats up. Morning lows, upper 70s, daytime highs. Next nine out of the 10 days, upper 90s to near 100. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks for watching CBS 19 plus.